Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you are a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10 day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Hello, this is Mike with Traven's RV Center here to congratulate you on your purchase of your Flagstaff Superlight 29 RBS travel trailer. I'm here to walk you around it, show you how to use a few things, get the best out of your camping experience. Let's start by talking about arriving at the campsite. A couple things to take into consideration. Of course, on your campsite, your awning, there's plenty of room for that to come out. And on your off campsite, of course, your slides. Plenty of room for them slides to come in and out unhindered, preferably enough to hang over top of it, and then leave yourself a nice walking space. Because the next thing I need you to think about is where your power and water connections are going to be. They're going to be on your driver's side of your tow vehicle, off camp side of the trailer, all the way toward the rear, power and your docking station. So park accordingly so you can utilize the facilities at the campsite. Once you arrive, first thing you're going to do is level our unit. Now, I do recommend on a unit this big, go ahead and bring your slides in, find the center of your unit, put a stick on level there, have someone watch that while you lower or raise with your power tongue jack. Also comes with a night docking light and a manual override here for that hand crank. If you do lose power, you can get this up and down. Speaking of power, check your battery post when you arrive. Make sure your terminals haven't wiggled loose. Once we've got our unit level, we're going to stabilize it. Your unit has these power stabilizing jacks. We're going to hit extend and run these down. As I do, I'm going to recommend stabilizing jack pads. Jack pads are going to protect the feet from your stabilizing jacks uh, from dirt, debris, hot black top. Use your 10% off coupon, get a four pack of those, put them down underneath these, and run these down just until they're taunt. I mean, if you feel the unit lift an eighth of an inch, go ahead and stop. Remember, we've already got our unit level. All we're doing with these is stabilizing. We'll run these back up real quick. Go in the rear and show you your rear ones working. Get them down. Come to the rear. Thank you power cord for that's right here. Hit extend here. And I'll show you those ones running down. Now these are a little loose here. That's so that the foot can come down and rest. And we track them back up. Once we've got our unit level and stable, we can go ahead and hook up our power and water. Let's start with your power. Big long 50 amp cord here. At the end of this cord at the end of this if you did plug into 30 there will be a 30 to 50 to 30 dog bone and then you can go from 30 down to 110 with this adapter got our power hooked up let's hook up our water oh, fresh water tank flush antifreeze inlet start with your city water connect first and foremost water pressure regulator this water pressure regulator is going to reduce the water pressure to 40 to 50 PSI, protecting the lines in your unit. Always use this when putting water into your unit here. Hook that up, hook your hose up, but don't turn our hose on yet. Let's find your hot water heater. Coming over to your campsite, right next to your doorway to the left, is your hot water heater. All we're doing at this point, make sure our drain plug's back in. You may have left it out last time you were camping, Go ahead and get that back in there snug, preferably with some uh, plumber's tape, not putty. 
get that in there snug and then you can go ahead and turn your hose on now if your hose has been on for a little while you can go ahead and go inside turn on your water taps once the air is out of the lines and you got steady water coming through you can go ahead and turn on your water heater from indoors now there's an on off electric element down here the only time you ever want to turn this on is if you hooked up to 110 if you hooked up to 110 turn this on here as well as indoors otherwise just turn it on indoors when you're plugged up to 30 or 50. up here if your hot water heater doesn't seem to be working check these bubbles see if they're bubbled out if they are press them back in it's a reset and of course your pressure release valve so let's say we're going to go camping and we're not going to hook up at a campsite we're going to go boondocking dry docking whatever you want to call it we're going to want to fill up our fresh water tank so in between your slides here is your fresh water tank simply fill this with a hose no need for a water pressure regulator two ways to tell when it's full one there's an overflow valve right here and two on the inside where you check the levels of your tanks uh, hold your fresh water button down and that'll tell you when this is full now remember when using potable water you don't want to turn on your water pump don't turn on your water pump when using city water it's already pressurized all right we've got your unit all set up to camp now you can deploy your slides let's go ahead and walk you around the rest of the outside of the unit again up here are your docking station um, up here is your cable and satellite you have a docking light outdoor shower spare tire with a cover and it helps keep it from dry riding your ladder utilize it go up there a couple times a year uh, check the seams of your roof and caulk as needed maintain the roof of your trailer here is going to maintain the lifetime also prep for a Furion backup camera it's a device you purchase from our store that sits on the dash of your tow vehicle electronically communicating with that Furion piece there giving you a backup camera for the unit you have your accessory hitch a little bit of storage back here your awning I haven't ran it all the way out I'll show you how far to run it out when we go inside but you do have a just a pitch if you pick your cables at the other end and it's raining simply pull down on this that's going to pitch this away and run all your water down this way your outdoor kitchen this is just going to swing out take your quick connect pull it down connect right up in there hand light your griddle you have a light up here 110 and your outdoor fridge controls are up there swing that back in make sure that you lock your outdoor kitchen inside there is a griddle and a stand that it sets on still in the box comes out it sets on here quick connect LP as well also prep for a TV Hook a TV stand on here, 110 and cable. Outdoor speakers, porch light, and a vent for your microwave. Down here is a flue for your furnace. If you run your furnace, you clear of that, it'll get rather warm. Again, your hot water heater. That hole right there is a manual override for your slides. I'll show you right up in here. And your storage is the hand crank for that slide. There's the other hole. Again, power stabilizing jacks. Other than that, I decided to put them in your storage here. There's your griddle and stand that sets on. On the front, your propane does have a cover. It's on a regulator. Simply point it toward the tank you wish to be using. Lefty Lucy to open. Come around the side of your unit here. Your docking lights. To the front and your pass-through storage one more storage area here there's an extra stand for table your fresh water drain if you're using potable water it's be easier to get to with your slides closed but that's where you drain those that about covers everything on the outside let's go look inside the unit so coming up inside the unit, I'd like to point out the fire extinguisher first. Make sure that you and everyone that's camped with you knows the fire extinguisher is located at the entry doorway in case of an emergency. 
to the right of that 110 with USB port or excuse me with uh, GFCI reset 110 over there and up here on your wall your control panel start with your tire pressure monitoring system I am actually going to send you a video from TST showing you how to set that up down below that your control panel here's a Wi-Fi Ranger turn that on down here there's your passcode and everything that'll allow you to pick up uh, more channels or a better Wi-Fi when you're at the back of the park here's where you check your batteries brand new battery your fresh and gray tanks here's where you turn on your water heater if hooked up to electric your water heater if hooked up to gas your water pump if using potable water your tank heater if you're in inclement weather here's your awning I'm gonna extend that out show you run that out just until that flap falls down to 90 degrees that's as far as you want to run that out I'll show you that will continue running out so keep an eye on it gonna run that back in I'll talk about the rest of your controls here there's your slide controls we'll run your slides back in when we're done underneath that your interior lighting porch lighting awning step lighting and one control um, go to the app store download this app and you can stand outside run your slides out if you're out at the fire you want to shut the lights off on your unit you can do that uh, if it starts raining you can run your awning out really nice system a really cool app all right our awning's back in walk around the rest of the unit here coming into your kitchen here a self-explanatory microwave down below that your fan and light uh, your stove top makes an excellent backsplash turn on your panel light turn that to light hit your spark oh hit your spark on this end and there's your flames same thing on your oven turn your oven on here to light spark it here no need for a pilot light anymore just said let the desired temperature pan light down means oven light Magic Chef fridge, make sure that this is closed in here for travel. Down below that, access panel to your breaker box and fuses. Brings me over your fire or your television. Here's your remote. We'll turn your TV on. While I turn it on, make sure you lift that handle. Come back. Where your cable goes in, make sure that the green light is on. That's a digital channel enhancer that will allow you to pick up more channels when you run your local channel scan. Snap that back there. There's your TV working. The remote will be right in here. Below that, RV technology sound system. Uh, there's a remote for that in the drawer as well. Indoors out uh, front bedroom or outdoors so three zones whatever is blue is on i'm not gonna pick up any channels in inside this metal building but so, there we go um, I think I was really hoping that that am was fm bluetooth to, uh dvd cd player to. nice system touch it once for mute hold it for off hold it for off down here fireplace not just for looks anymore i can make it pretty with all these different colors but the biggest thing is the heat if it's chilly in the morning or evening instead of using up your gas crank the heater up on this and it'll get it toasty in no time before going to the bathroom over here on the wall here's your thermostat we'll go to the modes for the system cool get your AC kick on So that kicked on you'll notice when I shut the AC off it shuts off rather quickly now if I go to heat well, let's change our system to heat right 
a second. Gas heat. And when that kicks on, you'll notice it takes a little bit longer for the uh, furnace fan to shut off than it does the, there it goes, than it does the AC fan. Over here to the right, this controls your um, solar power. Keeps the solar power panels from overcharging your battery. I will send another video on this, but your biggest concern here, hold B in, touch B until you're on flooded. You want to be on a flooded battery. See it right down there. Leave that like that, you're good. Coming into the bathroom, your lighting, there's a hand crank open, power exhaust vent here, and off. One ten here. Just want to mention for travel, make sure that you have this snap back. Heading all the way up into your bedroom. Not much to talk about in here, other than you do you have a backer for a TV. Cable and one tens here. AC sensor prep. Uh, you can hook an, another AC unit up here. This is all prepped for AC. USB ports and 110. Tell you on your bunks. The lighting, touch it once for a blue light. Hold it in for a nice reading light. A little bit of storage up underneath your bed, your drawers, and your seating area. Individual lighting up here, all one touch. That about covers everything on the inside. Let's act like we're leaving the campsite. So a few things to start doing first, your doors. Make sure that this is snapped back. I like to say doors and drawers. Um, check and make sure all your doors are secure and all your drawers are secure. Nothing's gonna impede these slides from coming in. Make sure nothing's around your bed. All doors are secure. I like to shut off my interior lighting. Then I can walk around and see any lighting I may have left on. Come back here to the bedroom. Come back here, turn our interior lights back on. Slide in, number one. Number one's gonna be your living room slide here. You see the bottom comes in first. That's how all slides are. Because the mechanism's on the bottom. You see the importance of having all doors and drawers closed because this utilizes every inch. Number two in. The little noise you hear at the end when your slide comes in, it's okay to hear that for a second. Just don't hold it in and let it keep doing it. It's just a slide mechanism keeping itself from coming in any further. So they come to a dead stop. Here are interior lights. Exit our unit. Now, to bring these steps up, you want to make sure this exterior door is all the way open. Otherwise, this will catch on it. Lift these steps up. As you see, they kind of float on their own. Shake the water off. Set it inside. Lock and deadbolt your exterior door. I see I left the porch light on. I'll go in and shut off. Lift and turn this handle. At this point, unhook our cable, water, and power come around bring up all of our stabilizing jacks come around to your docking station here we're hooked up to a campsite we're going to dump both of those drains if you are dry docking you come dump your fresh water drain and empty your hot water heater 
I'll come back around here open this up pull up on this pressure release valve be careful that'll be hot water coming out of there not so much once your water low point drains are draining snap that back down or your door will not close and then you can pull your low point drain hook up our hitch and head on up to the dump station now at the dump station park accordingly your dump's going to be all the way at the rear on your driver's side got 10 foot hose there park close hook up your hose first thing you can pull is that right handle right there that's your black handle now that's going to be your sewage once that's done come back up here over here on the right hook up your water pressure regulator and hook up the hose at the dump station leave that black handle open and use this black tank flush excuse me black tank flush is the top one here hook up your hose let that run for a good five minutes that's going to wash out your black tank get all that nastiness out of there once that's done unhook your hose come down here close your black handle pull this first gray handle after that one's done pull your second gray handle these are going to be all cleaner waters your sinks and your showers that's going to clean your sewage hose out for you and you're going to come to your bumper and conveniently and sanitarily store your sewage hose right in your bumper again we thank you guys so much for your purchase hope you enjoy this flagstaff for many years to come happy camping